Introducing the Don Johnson Gold Palm. We did a top five recently on our podcast talking about the top five most ridiculous bowling accessories that we could find. At number one, the Don Johnson Gold Palm. This has a polyurethane horseshoe looking thing that is adjustable. And the whole idea is to keep this ball on the palm into the pad of the fingers. I don't know how it's gonna work. We're gonna try it and we're gonna talk about it. But before we get to all this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's see what this ancient Don Johnson gold palm is all about. All right, it's time to try the Don Johnson gold palm. I've never thrown a shot with this thing on. I don't even know what year it was made. If I had a guess, late 70s, it retailed for $3.95 back in whatever year. If anybody wants to do the calculation for inflation, put it in the comments, because I'm not sure. But the whole idea of this gold palm back in the day was, I guess, to teach people to get the ball off of this part of the palm and get it more situated on the pads underneath. So let's just throw a few couple shots and see what this ridiculous contraption does. My gosh. I got to say, though, it doesn't feel horrible, but I don't know. What do I know? All right. First shot with the gold palm. We have to buy a few more of these. Yeah, so I guess for people that have maybe issues with wrist strength, because this isn't really doing anything here, I guess. I don't know. Um, the whole idea is to keep the weight more on the fingers. You know, I, I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what the uh, what the ad sheet says here. Ball and wrist control. New important. New adjustable gold palm combination ball and wrist support adjust to ensure correct ball position. So let's talk about it. It has double features, aids in wrist position, and also controls the balance of ball. Positive control and better balance of the ball during starting position enhances proper hand position for greater spare accuracy, makes the ball feel lighter, vented for minimum perspiration, Easy to put on and take off, easy to wash, comes in many sizes. So we're going to test out some of these claims and see what, what I think of the Don Johnson Gold Palm. I can't believe it's not out still. I got to say that cleaning my ball is a little harder with the Don Johnson Gold Palm. By the way, this is like polyurethane or something. It's a hard plastic. Anyway. Hmm. I gotta say, my ball roll is just fine. I gotta tell you though, I'm not feeling any of the weight kinda on this palm right here. At the start, yeah, but as soon as I get in, I think just my natural wrist position gets a lot more of the weight like on the fingers, like right in this area where it wants you to, you know? So maybe I just need to adjust it. Maybe I need to adjust it up. You don't really got a lot of zone here to, to work with, but I'm gonna adjust it a little more up towards the fingers and see what happens. Once again, it gets in the way of me wiping the ball. What abs. All right, let's try it again. Almost pinches like the fat of my thumb. I actually don't, I don't like that. Hold on. It's like pinching right in here, like the webbing here, like this, this stuff. I gotta go a little lower. All right, let's try it again. Like what happens when your Velcro goes bad? You just gotta go buy another one. So far, three for three on strikes though with urethane. So what happens now, let's, let's try like a resin ball. I got my Rhino Pro and I got a Paragon Pearl. So let's try different parts of the lane with the gold palm. 
So from straight on, not bad. Now, I, I really don't like how it pinches right here. I'm already seeing like a little bit of a mark, but let's try to move it off of that spot a little bit more. See if we can stop it from pinching. All right, so let's switch to Rhino Pro and try it. Pretty crazy. All right, I better move in a little bit. I gotta say though, first impressions when I put the glove on, it feels all right. Like I could rest it right on there and not have to worry about where it's going. Oh, come on, I was trying to harness the power of Don Johnson by tripping a four pin. I gotta say though, it's not bad. You know, once I got away from the pinching part, it actually feels somewhat normal. I feel like I can just rest that ball right on it and then push away and bowl as normal. Let's move a little bit off of that, I guess. I don't even remember where I was. So focused on the glove here. So yeah, just setting it here, I could just rest it on the gold palm there. Wow. I mean, it's not bad. I gotta be honest though, I don't really feel the pressure of the ball on the thing as soon as I push away. Like, the, it's no longer in that zone. So I don't really know how much it helps once you actually get into the motion. Does it better control and balance the ball during starting? Yes, I would say yeah. Aids wrist position and also controls the balance of the ball. Sure, because you could rest it right on it. So the first two things I would say it does I kind of feel like I'm locked into it though. Like, I don't know if I can do much with that. But what else does this thing claim again? Enhances proper hand position for greater spare accuracy. All right, well, let's try that. Let's try to pick the 10 pin clean off the corner. Let's see if maybe, uh, let's see if this gives me proper spare accuracy. I didn't pick it clean. I would have got the 10 pin, but I didn't pick it clean. So, did it aid in any of that? Not really. Ah, makes the ball feel lighter. Well, at age 42, I don't think a 15 ball is feeling much lighter in my hand. At the setup, sure, I guess it feels good because it's less um, pressure on my wrist. I could just rest it kind of right there and I don't have to like hold it with my fingers. All right, let's move in a little bit. Let's see how this Don Johnson gold palm does when I start getting around and hooking it. Oh, this is definitely the use I think Don Johnson had in mind when he designed the gold palm. Velcroed. Just like glued on. What a wacky time of bowling. You know, over the years, I think bowling has had some wacky accessories, but nothing like golf. Golf has had way more accessories that you just scratch your head and saying, who designed that? Yeah, yeah, hook. Ah, Don Johnson's failing me on the resin ball. Maybe this only applies to urethane and polyester and rubber. Maybe those are the only balls that this is designed for. Let's throw one more shot. Let's try to get lined up. Let's throw one, at least one strike with the Paragon here. Let's get it to the dry. Let's send it and bend it. Let's make old Don Johnson proud. Yep. Oh, wiggle. We gotta give him one more shot. 
One more shot with the Don Johnson Gold Palm. Found this on eBay. I had to pay a premium for it. I think it was like, uh, I don't know, $15 with shipping or something like that. I gotta tell you though, you know, $3.95 price, $15 in modern day inflation is just killing us. All right, I'm gonna move a little bit right. And let's pure it. All right, that's my review of the craziest bowling accessory I've ever seen, the Don Johnson Gold Palm. Comment what you thought below with this wacky thing. No matter what, would I ever use this in competition? Maybe, if somebody bet me, how about that? But that's my review of the Don Johnson Gold Palm. It's stunning green color. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Talk to you guys soon.